If something goes wrong on the runway at the Buffalo Airport, first responders have a plan in place. Today, in a training exercise, they put the plan into action. It was a drill with very real looking aspects. Smoke poured out of a Boeing 727 aircraft as several local agencies prepared to respond. We do these drills every three years so that we can test our, our procedures and work together. Uh, without it, the exercise or the actual incident uh, will not run as, as, as smooth as it could. Every three years, the Federal Aviation Administration requires airport fire departments run a disaster drill based on a scenario selected ahead of time. Uh, today's scenario is an aircraft that's uh, coming inbound. Uh, it's going to have smoke in a cockpit. After a hard landing, the Buffalo Airport Fire Department responded as it normally would. Then other agencies came to help. In the drill, there were 80 passengers. 12 of them had serious injuries, so the ambulance transferred them to the firehouse to simulate taking them to the hospital. But the drill didn't stop there. They also had to react as if there was a bomb inside the aircraft. Well, bomb squads will be coming out after we're done to test their procedures and to get some uh, exercise training. FedEx donated 50 jets to airports across the nation for disaster drills. This is the first time the Buffalo Airport had an actual jet to use for disaster training exercises like these. And they will be able to continue using it for day-to-day -day training as well.